Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I've got a few things to show you. It won't be a long video. Okay, so first of all, I have some, I think. I think there's a little bit more of the new release by Card Making Magic. So I was sent this product just before Christmas. Or no, it came, sorry, it came just after Christmas, just before New Year. And um, really, really nice. I've already used um, two of them and I was really naughty because they weren't available online. So I didn't want to share these ones because I just thought it was a bit unfair to kind of put it out there and then you find that you can't get it. So I just said, what I'm using right now is a bit of a sneak peek and I will, you know, update the links, which I have. And um, I know some of you have already gone and got these. So the 27 piece month die set is what I used to make my little mini desk calendar. So this one sits on my shelf um, and I really, really like it. They're a great size and the fonts just, it's a really nice font. It's not something that I think is going to particularly date. So if you are kind of building your stash, you, you're quite new to maybe paper crafting, something like this is a real good one to have because it's something you will go to year after year. So you have all your months there and then you also have your anniversary um, what do they call it? Anniversary years. And then at the bottom you've got happy anniversary and birthday. And I'll just give you a quick look at how big they are. So, for example, there, I mean, look, you can see how long they are. There, there's the birthday one. That's the anniversary. Um, then you've got, what's this one here? This is a nice one. That's sapphire. So they're great, they really are. And I like to die cut these a few times and then layer them on top of each other. Or if you die cut maybe, first of all, with some foam, fun foam, then die cut again in maybe like a gold or something, mirrored cardstock and stick them together, you've got a real nice dimensional, um, you know, sentiment there. So definitely love these. I'm gonna put all these onto my magnetic sheets once I've done this video. And then this is the other one. So this is your Landmark Occasions collection. So this is a 26 piece ultimate number and overlay die set. Um, it's brilliant. I used this for the twist and pop card that I shared a few days ago, maybe a week ago now. Um, it's another one which is gonna be perfect to have in your stash. They're great size numbers. Um, and you're always going to need numbers. There's always going to be someone's birthday, obviously each year if you're making a New Year's card and many other reasons, you know, scrapbooking, mini albums. But let me just show you how big these are. I can't show you those cards because they've now been given away. Um, well, not given away, I've, you know, I've given them to the people that I wanted them for. So, but here, there's your zero. Big, big, big size dies. So let me just grab my ruler. These are, so this is just over one and a half wide. They're all the same height, so they are two and a half. But that's a really good size. That is a lovely large, I mean, look at the five. And you've seen, I'll put the card here, if any of you haven't seen that twist and pop, and you can see just how big they are. But those, what a lovely size to have as your big topper on the front of a card. Um, and again, it's a nice font. It's not something that has, you know, it's not gonna date. That is just a nice font and something that you can pull out year after year and uh, I think it's lovely. And you've got all those lovely little sprays there of flowers. So you've got that one, that one there. That's a nice one, that's like the ivy. That's quite a nice big one. And these you can use obviously on all kinds of cards, but I guess the idea is, is that you would have maybe, so for example, you've got the eight there and then you could die cut and you could have like a little kind of section there where it's like crawling up around the, the number. Um, these will be pulled out time and time again. I know I'm going to go to these a lot. You've also then got, so if it's someone's third birthday, so we've got the three, and then we've got the R and the D. So great for children's cards or anything, you know, there was the, I've just pulled out the 50th, so you've got the five and the zero, and then there's the ST. Oh, there we go, there's the TH. So you've got 50th and then they coordinate with this one. You've then got anniversary. So you can have that underneath. They're, honestly, I think they are brilliant. I think they are just, they're good value for money and they're something that you will never ever not want to use. You're gonna find yourself probably going to them a lot. So I know that I think these are gonna be heavily used this year. There's already some big birthdays that I know that I've got cards to make for. And I'm going to look at some other fun ways as well. So yeah, really looking forward to using these ones. So I'm just going to pop all those back. Then we've got this one here. So this is your landmark. So this is all the landmark occasions collection. This is a four-piece spectacular swirl die set. 
So again, coordinates with this, so that I guess the idea, and once Christina shares more of her inspiration, I imagine, you know, this would be a nice piece to have as your background. And then you could have, again, like I said, 50th or 60th birthday or anniversary on the front. So I haven't even opened this one. Let's see how big, the, oh gosh, it is very big. Four piece, so there's your four pieces. That is huge, that is beautiful. I wonder if that's for a five by, let me have another little look, five by seven card. Yeah, perfect. So that's my favorite size. So that's five and just under seven. So that will fit perfectly. And how nice would that look on the corner of a mini album cover? Really nice. So just to, again, give you an idea, that's how that pattern looks. But I would layer that up. Um, you can also have it that way as well. So you could have a top folding five by seven and you could have, you know, the, the numbers in this section here or obviously that way then you've got the hearts so this is going to be great for valentine's but it's also that's a really nice size to have as your actual card blank itself so that's probably what i will do and you can imagine again the numbers in the middle of the heart so it might be a nice valentine's card you know you might have got engaged or married on valentine's day so you can you know combine the two so this is five by i mean the highest point you're looking well i, I yeah five by five yeah, so it's yeah, nice size. And then you've got your detail. So that's your background die, and then this will cut the detail. So if you just want to have this cut, this pattern cut into your card, so this is great for a, like a shaker window, then that's the detail you will get minus that frame because it will just cut straight in. So that's really, really pretty. I like that one a lot. So I'll be making some nice, nice things with that. And then there's the frame, and then you've got the little heart, which goes in the center here. So again, you can layer that up. To create a nice effect so that's very pretty then we have here 36 wow so there's a lot in this one and this is your extravagant egg die set and do you know what? i don't have a lot of dies um easter dies at all i've got one i think i've got one and my mum's got a really nice um like nest of um egg shaped dies which is what i've kind of gone to a lot so now i won't need to because this looks like it's got everything i need in it so let's have a little look so this one coordinates with this, which I'll show you in a moment. So, wow, they are huge dies. And what I love is that that is your card blank. That is your Easter egg. Look how big that, what a lovely Easter card size. So this one here measures, what are we looking at? So again, perfect, it's just under seven. So it's gonna fit, yeah, it's gonna fit in a five by seven envelope. So, you know, all of those pre-made envelopes that you've already got, this will fit in it. But I really like this detail here. So this one just does this very, very pretty decorative trim, which I imagine if you've got small enough embellishments, little rhinestones, you could put a rhinestone in every single one of those. And that would make a very, very pretty detail. So yeah, you can see how that went. Oh my God, I've already got a really nice idea and the colors for this. Love that lattice effect. These are really, really lovely. So you can have that one and there's your frame. So obviously lots of mats and layers, you can really, you know, layer it up. But that again, until you see it, but it's covered, it's got little, so it's going to emboss because that's, they're not cut circles, they're just embossed. So it's going to emboss all these little circles and then it's going to cut all those diamonds out, but you could then paper piece, you could die cut it again in another color and then piece those back in again. Or that could be again, a really nice shaker window and you'll see all the pieces shaker shaker shaking in the background i love this it's really really nice and um i'm already starting to put a few bits together for my easter series so this is definitely going to feature then you've got these beautiful like plaques so we've got this one is here and then you've got oh okay right so i need to work out so these are more diamonds here which will cut this out here and then you've got the smaller one which will cut out those there and then you can layer them on top again so if you die cut so you die cut five at a time but you can then put them on top of these and then die cut the smaller ones again and then layer up so you can really create some dimension with this card I think that's going to look really quite pretty um, so that's those you've got these little bows so again I'm imagining that what the idea is is that you can put bows across all the little crossovers here 
on all these sections so it's all covered in bows and I've seen more of the vintage style old kind of um, Easter eggs with that style so whether that's where the inspirations come from so that's really nice then you've got these little hexagon pieces you've got little flowers that's here you've got these little bits here which would look nice again at the oh, around the bottom here of like the Easter eggs so they're smaller ones again so these are going to be nice for your sentiments so I imagine there are stamps to come with this as well so um, it should all be launched on Craft Stash by the time this video goes out so I will share all the links below and you can check out the stamps and stuff because I imagine there will be some nice sentiments to go in there which um, I'll have to have a little look at and then you've got these really nice ones here and these are great to use on all of your you know any cards or the bottom I mean they'd look really nice under you know a number you know, so that kind of frames like the, the top and the bottom of a number. Imagine like so. Let me just grab one. I've just pulled out 20, but you can see you could have something like that. You know, someone might be, you know, it might be someone's birthday on Easter, Easter day. So you could imagine you could have, there's your big card. I think that would look really nice actually, It'd make a beautiful card. That's your card shape, there's all your mats and layers, all your detail, and then you've got that big 20, and then you've also got this detail at the top and the bottom. What a lovely card. I know it's kind of hard to kind of see it there, but you can get the idea. So there's a, you can see how everything, and those perfectly fit within the, the kind of curves there of the um, Easter egg. So, no, I really, I like this, because it's, it's different, and I don't have a lot of Easter stuff. And if you get this, I'm going to kind of keep that out because no doubt I'm going to want to try things with it. Oh, and there's another piece. So, it, yeah, like I said, this is some of the collection because there's also this card making lacy nested oval die set. So you've got that beautiful detail there. So that's that one which I've just showed you. So let's have a little look at this one here. And again, it's another big, oh, there's one in there. Always count your dies because that one, oh my. Wow, that's tiny. It's full. <laughs> Hang on a minute. There we go. Always check the amounts and then I like to put mine all onto magnetic sheets but because the bottom of this is split I think it's just cut from the, um, the metal there but let me just move these to one side. Okay so this is going to create, let me just grab because I'm just looking at these pieces, this is, I think it's going to have a similar kind of way as the paper discovery and it was the, oh, the snow globe and you can use that snow globe circle piece and you can make circular boxes it's very similar i think to that so my guess is so these pieces here will wrap around so i have to have a play around with that one but you've got those two pieces there one's thicker than the other so i imagine one's going to be for the base one's going to be for the lid look at the size of these these are bigger than five by seven but again because they coordinate with this you can layer up if you want to make some really nice yes yeah, so it's five and a half by Ooh, it's just under eight so it's about seven and three quarters so you could use this you could die cut two of these on a piece of a4 because yeah like i said that was five and a half wasn't it and you've got 11 and three quarter length on a4 so five and a half yeah you can literally just yeah you could die cut two of them anyway sorry i'm just thinking about the card stocks to you so these are all going to layer up so you can see there you've got tons tons and tons and tons on this one so there's that one these are all stitched as well so they're going to leave a nice decorative shape you've got that one that's in between i just lie this down so you can see so if you've got you know this is maybe the lid you can see all that lovely dimension you're going to get but i was just about to say and then i kind of get sidetracked you can make a really nice decorative centerpiece maybe for your easter table um, I think I might see about doing that. These are exactly the same. I'm going to count how many dies I've got here because I'm wondering whether, yeah, they're exactly the same if I've had an extra fall in there because that's definitely exactly the same. Oh, mind you, no, it is slightly different. Okay, so that one's slightly bigger. We will see. And then this one here, look at that beautiful detail. Again, make a lovely window. You can see that goes in there. And then from there... You've got all these pieces. So, you know, you your options here of how it will look is endless because there's just so many 
ideas and um, another nice idea has just come to mind actually for this so yeah I think I know what I'm going to do. You've got that lovely 1920s kind of fan effect there that's nice which is this one here. Sorry I forget I'm filming sometimes and I just kind of <laughs> disappear in, in uh, ideas and thinking of things. So this says scent with love um, and you've got all these, you've got butterflies and bits and pieces there and sprigs and that's quite a nice trim actually, that one there which is this one. And then you've got a lovely big tag, these are always handy, I pull out tags a lot just for other things, you've got that one, you've got your scent with love which is really big and then you've got your shadow for that as well so that's a, I like these style dies. But where's that other tag? So there's the oval one. Oh, I see. Okay, so it is also an oval, but there's that little circle that I dropped on the floor. If you pop that up there, there's your oval tag. Yeah, so that's that one there, and then there's that one. So they've done it, I guess, so that you can use it as a layer for this, or you can have it as a tag. So, um, yeah, no, I really like it. But then you can see... Ah, no, they, these are egg-shaped, this is just oval, which I probably said, and some of you are probably thinking, Sam, these are oval, and it clearly says box. <laughs> oval box collection. But then that one says oval box collection, but it's an egg shape, so I think parts of them can um, coordinate, but the actual shape, that is an egg shape, that's an oval shape, so you're, yeah, you won't be able to layer those up with that, for example, because it is... Yeah, it's definitely a different shape. Let me just check. Yeah, no, that is definitely oval. That's definitely egg. Yeah, you can see there. So, love them. Love, love, love. Love how big they are. And I'm guessing as well, let me just grab... These are Christina's A5 oval dies. And I'm just wondering, because the largest of this one is, is huge again. But yeah. So if you have these already, because I rave about these, I go to these a lot. But you've got more mats and layers so look you can see that's going to fit perfectly around there and it just shows how big these are and then that one will probably sit there again so yeah so if I do want to do an even bigger kind of table piece um, that's going to work because you can see they all sit in there really nicely so yeah, so if you do have these already, because these have been out for ages, and um, I've got the rectangles as well, and um, I love them. Especially, I think the reason I love these so much is they're quite squashed ovals, so these again are perfect for when you want to put sentiments, you know, and kind of layer them up for nice little toppers. Whereas you see these are kind of larger, or yeah, larger ones. So yeah, lots of fun stuff to play with. I will be making some samples and I'll share those. I'm looking forward to making some nice box effects with these and I've got a really fun idea. But I'm probably going to start using this now because <laughs> why the idea is fresh in my head. I'm just going to pull this back. And then the last thing I wanted to share was just these. I was in Waitrose the other day, um, which is a supermarket for anybody outside of the UK or doesn't know of Waitrose, and they have um, all their seasonal stuff is reduced. And these are little table scatters, they're felt, and um, they were 75p, but you get loads. And I thought, I'm going to get these now. I just get rid of all the rustling from that plastic. and um, But you can see here, you get absolutely tons, little felt pieces, and you build up the holly berries. But these are going to look lovely for, you know, um, embellishments on my cards and just any kind of Christmas crafting I'll do next year. So you can see there, and you can kind of just layer them up. But they are table scatters, but my idea is to actually, you know, put them together in little kind of groupings like that. You get absolutely tons. So I've got two bags, 75p each. And I think they're going to be, yeah, just a nice little extra. And because they're felt and they're soft, if you are putting them on a card, you know, they're not going to create too much bulk. But they'd be nice on gift bags, gift tags, things like that. So if you have a Waitrose nearby, um, yeah, pop in and have a look at their seasonal section. I also picked up some really nice stripey candy cane gift, um, you know, gift wrap, a big roll of it. Um, and that was reduced as well. So that'll be used next year, even though I do have my vintage stuff. But I did like that because I thought that looked really nice. So, yeah, I picked those up as well.
So that's everything to show you this week. I just wanted to, it's been quite nice to sit down in some detail and go through those because I hadn't opened a lot of them, only those two that I'd already shared, um, you know, when I made this one here and that twist and pop card. So look out for the tutorials and um, I'll post up any pictures of other samples that I make as well. But these are definitely going to be getting used quite a lot and I've got some nice Easter ideas as well for that one so and yeah see if you can get a hold of those so thank you for watching and I'll be back again soon with another tutorial bye